Hey, how's it going, everybody? David here, and welcome to another reaction. This episode, we are diving into Castle Season 2, Episode Number 16, called The Mistress Always Spanks. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Hopefully, you've been enjoying the series. Hopefully, today has been a wonderful day for you. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Head on over to Patreon for the full, uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, buckle your seatbelts. Let's ride. Dude, how is she hanging up? There? Oh. Beckett, what is up? Bix a female, late 20s, no ID. She was found hanging from the monkey bars by a jogger just after dawn. Is that honey? From the smell of it, I'd say it's caramel sauce, but I'll be testing, not tasting. Caramel sauce? <laughs> Maybe I can. the city do custom works. So let's take photos of those cuffs, send it out, see if anyone can ID where it came from. Only how do you. Shops? Right, like, how do you know all this, Beckett? So much, Castle. So very, very much. And there's no ID. Her fingerprints aren't in the system. Oh! <laughs> How do you even get in that position? I don't know, but you should try that with your uh, girlfriend, Honey Milk. As a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna buy this for you right now. Oh, who's whipped, huh? Me or him? You, bro. I was about to Can't say, you. <laughs> Tyler Benton and find out what he was doing last night. It wasn't I guess him, just killing his girlfriend. Mm, my guess is nope. <laughs> My guess is this show never goes that route. So, Tyler is ruled out for me. Um, she showed them to me when she got them, but I never saw them after that. When We're not done with the guy from the store, Jessica. I can tell you that much. Yesterday morning. What about her research? Did she ever talk to you about where she went, uh, the people involved? Wait, did Jessica have any enemies in the department? Yep. Anyone Matt. in school that she didn't get along with? Just because we were Matt. competing for the same fellowship doesn't mean that we weren't civil. Not everyone All right, Matt. civil. In the last few weeks, Jessica was getting these phone calls on her office line. What kind of calls? Mm, heavy breathing, moaning, made you want to take a hand sanitizer shower. Big town, there's a whole slew of fetish clubs there. Yes, I know where Dungeon Alley is. I want to know, how do you know? Vice raided a few of them looking for a reason <sighs> to shut them down, but since there's no sexual contact and the acts are all consensual, it was all perfectly legal. Mm. Two calls to Lady Irina's House of Pain. Lady Irina's House of Pain. That must be where Mistress Venom works. Did you get an address? Yeah, it can't be a woman. Good. There's uh -huh. no way. Be located for all your lunchtime spanking needs. All right, you guys it's look a male. through her notes. See if there's anything that's there that might implicate one of her clients. Yeah, you better run. It's not a female. Delighted to have an audience. Follow me, please. This is gonna be ridiculous. Do you think we could gag him? Remember, my safe word is apples. <laughs> interesting. That's an interesting route. I still well, think this it's, explains it's the marks the on her body. Student, it's the one guy. This before she died. Well, the title of this episode Sorry. is Just Mistress like Always it's Spanks. Not you, it's her. Well, if you're so upset, we could find someone for you to go medieval on. Like uh, him, perhaps. She wants to protect her. This clients. is just so odd. What about her girls? They're three days ago. If I was so angry with her, why would I do that? Is that Matt dude, man? He was telling the truth about the lease. Not only did he and Jessica sign the lease, but it was also notarized. It doesn't mean he didn't do it. He could have had a sign to help his alibi. It's totally not me. Which is why I kind of like it. It's not you, so you like it? I guess so. She likes it. You know how in Stormfall, you killed off Derek Storm because you were bored with him? Yeah. Sometimes I feel that way about me. Like I'm hiding inside my comfort zone and maybe it's time to venture out a little. A little during his shift. It wasn't him. Maybe he faked the footage. Nope. He's an intern, not Jason Bourne. Oh. 
So somebody must have known so who. and she was killed sometime between ten and eleven. Come on, it's she the didn't one go dude. Home or to the university. It's the one guy. Where did she go? It's the guy from the Thank university. You. Something. <laughs> That is my final answer, man. Sam I am. William Carraway, aka no. Sam I am. Senior nah. Vice President Stuart Cabot and Sagan. Not this guy. The global consulting firm? Pulls on her. How you threatened to tie her up and drown her in caramel? It's fantasy. But the fantasies weren't enough. And so you had to make your dreams come true. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, it's the university awesome. dude. The more she said university no. dude. The more you became obsessed. Finally, you didn't want to be the submissive. You wanted to dominate her, and the ultimate domination is murder. Shop top. You work here long enough, and the kinkiest thing. If you don't get that off of me, imagine. heck no. Or just another day <gasps> at the office. The only time we trade info is if we share clients, but Mr. Spenham didn't share. Do you mind unstrapping my boot? You're not. This is ridiculous. Uh, All thumbs. All right, come on, give me the final answer right here. You were her office mate, Kelly. It would have been very easy for you to. No, not Kelly. Files. No, it wouldn't. I told you, she was very private about her work. You mean not you Kelly? She didn't once slip out to the bathroom. And just... Filing cabinet and took her research. That is exactly. What come I'm on, doing. man. If it's Matt, man. You said it yourself. Come it's on. A very competitive program. And they were both finalists. Come on, baby, baby. Fellowship. This is uh, Matt's performance. Reel it in, Beckett. Effective aids on inner city clinics. Look at the picture. He's in scrubs. It wasn't Tyler. Reel it in. It was Matt. Reel it in, baby. Kelly's keys. That's morally challenged. If your murder alibi is a blackmailing scheme. Yeah, but if he's telling the truth, then we have no motive. Well, hello, gentlemen. How was your trip to the dungeon? Well, we learned that Esposito is not very good with laces. There were a lot of laces. I, I loosened them for you. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, and I rarely am, that's Mistress Red. It doesn't make any sense for a woman to be able to carry her and hang her up, though. Did you know that lip prints are a lot like fingerprints? I write to legal counsel. I won't be answering any further questions. Somebody still helped her. There's no way she carried Jessica. I'm not buying it. Something. Yeah, me too. Salt. Whoa. What? Whoa. Jeez. Can you die from sodium poisoning? Oh, you have a point. Man, you hey, killed it. it. Smells good. But I already ate. <laughs> she. She was everything to me. I thought no, we were. I don't. Food. I just don't buy it. Like, okay, she killed her, whatever. There's no way she... Things. She had no right. What happened that night? She said she was gonna move out. Well, I guess this one wrong. In the end, Castle was right. The murder was a crime of passion. The cuffs, the caramel, were all just theater to throw us off. All right, season two, episode number 16 of... Castle. One moment, because I want to look at something. So, first things first, before we even get started. If you're into bondage, don't take any offense to this. It's just my opinions on it. I don't know how anyone could be into bondage. But everyone has their uh, preferences, so I am no one to judge. I just, from my point of view, it just creeps me out, okay? So I don't I don't mean to say that or uh, offend anyone that, you know, chooses that or, you know, enjoys to do things like that in their free time. Again, everyone has their things. Everyone has their, uh, you know, their hobbies, the things they like to do. And I'm no one to judge because there's certain things that I like to do that other people would think just the same thing. Like, why do you do this? Why do you do it as often as you do it? And so with that being said, just bondage is not my cup of tea and so this episode was very very bondage very uh 
Dom and Sub and I don't know much about it, but it's very much bondage. It's very much that those things. And so to me, what seems very unbelievable is that how did she hang her best friend up without the assistance of someone else? Think about it. The dead, the dead weight that she, that her friend is, is easily over a hundred pounds, probably 110, probably 120. I just don't see it. I just don't see it. There's no way this body ends up, especially how high up it is, from her doing it. I needed to see an explanation from how on earth did Danielle get Jessica up there without someone helping her, without her. Like, there's just no way. They said, they mentioned something about her being wheeled there. I, that's believable, fine. If it's Jessica, that's what they, they, they finalize it as. Or if it's Danielle, then okay, that's the case. I'm not saying that Danielle didn't go through and kill her. I'm just saying there's no way that she staged it alone. There's no way. There's absolutely no freaking way that Danielle staged this alone. I I guess Matt, I knew Matt was going to play a role some way, somehow. Uh, I guess wrong, obviously. I just ruled females out. Not going to lie. And I'm not, I don't, I mean, I wasn't being uh, sexist or anything like that. I just... It just doesn't make any sense for whenever it's something. So if it was just like she was laying there with caramel on her, I would have been like, oh, 100 percent. Everyone's everyone's a possibility. Everyone's a suspect. The second I saw that she was hanging, I was like, this has to be a male. There's no way. And I'm not saying women aren't strong by any means. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying the frame in which Danielle had. As thin as she was, it just doesn't, I don't, I don't see it as a possibility of her being able to dead weight, dead weight 120, just lift her up and hang her up here. It just doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem like I needed to see how this all played out or at least hear from her how it all played out. Cause I can't, I can't fathom the thought. I couldn't fathom the thought of me doing that to hold someone up. You know, I'm like, it just, there's no way one person hung her up there. Staging it after she was hung up, that's, that's a, that's a whole other, you know, topic. But how did, how did this girl end up, you know what I'm saying? Hanging from where she's hanging. Come on. Nah, it just, I don't know. To me, it just seems, it seems like there was more into it. And maybe I'm looking too into it myself and trying to find, uh, answers. Look, I'm not saying like it, it 100, 100% makes sense. And she even admitted to it. Danielle killed her. The motives were there. It makes sense. What doesn't make sense is the staged body. I don't, I just don't get how, unless she had some support, some help. How did she get her up there? And she doesn't even look like she's tall enough to, like, was she, like, I don't know. I don't know. The body just seems super weird. Did she somehow drag her up, like, carrying her and climbing up and then threw her in? You know what I'm saying? It, we, it's weird. It's super weird. It's super weird. I think I'm, I'm, I think I'm thinking too much into it, but <sighs> super weird. Another thing, like I said, I'm not you know, totally into the bondage stuff, the whole uh, submissive and dominant aspect of, you know, one sexual life. Absolutely not, though. They're, the whole Esposito scene with uh, Ryan and them at the, uh, I don't know what they called it, wherever, sex house, whatever. No, there's no way. No way. No way. There's one, like... And again, it's, it's, it's all about, you know, pleasure. It's all about, you know, role playing, I guess you can say. I just can't do it. If, if I love you, if I'm with you, if we are married and you ask me to do something, you know, tie my shoes or untie my shoes, take my shoes off for me. That's a complete different thing from like 
I'm going to shove my heel into your shoulder and I'm going to smack you with something and say, take my boot off. Like, I don't know. It's again, it's, it's, you know, it's coming off like I'm being very judgmental and I apologize if this is offending anyone. I'm not trying to be judgmental. I'm not trying to offend anyone. I'm just simply saying that for me, it's a no go. For me, it's a no go. I'm not about to get down on my knees and have something drill. Like it's just, it's not, it's not me. I'm not into it. So a couple scenes where I was just kind of like, cause even Castle was like, Ooh, and then ah, on. And I'm just like, mm, nah, this, this just isn't, it's not, it, it's not it for me, but, uh, it sucks. It's a bummer. I thought I guessed it right. I didn't, uh, I'm, I'm aiming towards a mid seven. I don't know if it's, because I'm so against bondage to begin with, and then the whole framing of the body seems a little uh, far-fetched. Like this doesn't seem like a possibility. From not even it's not even a, uh, like that. It's not a possibility from a female. It just doesn't seem possible without the help of a crane or something. How do you get someone up on the monkey bars or whatever the hell this thing is, this jungle gym thing, without holding her? Climbing up yourself and then you know what I'm saying like it, There's no way as one person this this all Happened it just doesn't make any sense to me If if there were two people involved, I'd be like all right 100% you know, she killed her uh, Danielle killed Jessica and then uh, Danielle had Someone else Assist and help out In staging it because otherwise, I can't, I can't fathom the thought. And, you know, by all means, if you guys can explain to me or maybe open my, you know, simple mind up to the possibility of it. But I just, I can't envision it. I simply cannot envision it. But, I mean, the episode was fine. Uh, like I said, it's like a seven, like a seven and a half. I won't go, I won't give it an eight, but. A mid seven. It's not the worst episode, but it definitely isn't uh, my favorite either. Uh, just, just for the few things of just not being into bondage, and then also not, you know, finding the framework to be very believable. But without uh, further ado, I will catch you guys later. I'm just, I can't even talk today, man. I got nothing to say. I don't even know how to end this, man, but pretty much that's it. Don't forget to uh, head on over to Patreon for the full uncut, unedited reactions over there. Episodes extra early over there as well. With that being said, I'll catch you guys later. Peace, guys.